Hello and welcome to this video about file extensions. Now, I got asked quite a lot, and I've been wondering myself for a while, how do you make your own file extensions? Well, basically, all file extensions do is tell the application how to handle it. So, for example, if I have this called o.txt and open this now, that just opens in Notepad because it's a txt file. If I change it to an exe, it's obviously going to try and open it with the Windows executable thingy. And I can do that. It won't um, execute correctly. However, I could do that. And this is exactly how you create your own um, files. All you do is you change the extension. So .dhq, for example. Uh, no, it's not. Alright, that's a little bit strange. I don't know why it's decided to do that. Dot. Hhy. Maybe it's just dhq. It doesn't like. I don't know why. No, I just think it's open. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so new text document. Dot dhq. <laughs> I don't know why it thinks the other one's open. I didn't even open it. And that is why I didn't open it, by the way, because it glitched up like this last time. But, um, anyway. So look, type dhq file. This doesn't know what it does. If I try to open this now, it just goes, hang on, we don't know how to open this. Um, and then what you can also do, while installing your application that handles maybe these dhq files, um, you can associate, you can tell Windows, alright, we handle these files, alright. So then when you double click them, it just opens it with your program. And that's basically it. All you want to do is get your program to open it in a certain way so it can read the way you've put the data in there. It's all the same if you change the extension, but the app it's all the way that the application interprets it. And that is literally all there is to application extensions. Uh, sorry, file extensions. There's really not much else I can actually say about it. Just change extension and then you can find there are ways of getting your app to then um, be associated with that extension and then interpret the extension in a certain way um, but you know that's all in the programming side that's all pretty simple so hope you learned something from this video have a nice day